So when we come from this worldview of some things are sacred and some things aren't, we get in a very black and white thinking, which I believe affects our ability to see who's a good candidate for us because we're constantly being sold by the media. This is what a good candidate looks like and this is not a good candidate. And we're basically in, uh, encouraged to look with only one of our senses, which is our eyes. And the other senses are left out. Whereas when we're over here and we're in this Tantra ashram and we're not, we're developing ourselves every day as meditators to not be so black and white in our thinking, but seeing how all of my feelings are sacred. You know, in the, in the New Age community, it's like, you have to be grat grateful all the time and anger is bad. And in the Osho community, it's like, if you're feeling angry, really feel your humanity and feel your anger and feel, I'm an angry person right now. And they we used to have a meditation in the morning, actually, where people would practice yelling out their angry feelings. I'm ah, blah, 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 and then get it done with. It wasn't made wrong in the same way that most spiritualities make this wrong. Within that context of everything's sacred, everything's holy, everything, let me see the good in everything, I believe that dating was, took on a different flavor. So the odds are when I sit down and have coffee with this person or have a glass of wine with them or take a walk with them, I figure I odds are I'm not going to end up with this person. I watch my cultural idea like this is this is who I'm supposed to be with or this isn't and then I just try to in tantric dating I try to see what's right with this person and how can I be more loving with this person and how could we have an authentic conversation. That is very unconventional to have an authentic conversation on a date. But I thought, what if we could try? What if it could be part of our spiritual path? What if it was tantric dating? In fact, that this person and I are perfect together in this moment. We probably won't go together into the future. But in this moment, the universe has brought us together. If I never see this person again, what can I contribute to have an authentic relating? And that helps me grow spiritually and maybe the other person too. But I work on myself during this 45 minutes to an hour that I'm going to be with this person. I might see him again, I might not, but I'm not focusing on that in this moment. I'm focusing on, can I have an authentic moment of, let's call it love, being with this person in this present moment. And if I can't, what's wrong with me that I can't love a stranger? Because they don't look right? because they don't have the right shoes? What's wrong with me that I can't act loving towards this person for 45 minutes to an hour? I want to become a person who can do that.